whatever place you find yourself in today we got to where we are because of a succession of ideas and acts on our parts things come to be as a result of thoughts that is extremely crucial to understand so let's have a look at both sides of the coin individuals who think bad thoughts manifest their thoughts as undesirable outcomes and the exact opposite is true for individuals who think positive thoughts which results in the manifestation of positive outcomes that is the arrangement is as straightforward as that when thoughts become things they are known as manifestations as a result the one glaring question for us all is one that we ask on a regular basis what exactly are you thinking what are your thoughts on this matter simply because it is a reality of life it is biblical it is spiritual it is written it is philosophical it is the law of the universe and it is simply the way things are right now and now for the really frigid phase it makes no difference whether you believe me or not it makes no difference the fact that this has never been communicated to you or that you have never heard it before does not matter the fact that you believe it works in your life or not also doesn't matter it's just the way things are whatever the law of the universe is that is what it is whatever you want to name it that is what you get to call it whatever you do don't forget to dress this thing up since that's all it really is so when i say that we are where we are now because we imagine ourselves to be here or because we fought to believe it to be true i mean it you were under the impression that no one else was present i've got people in my immediate vicinity who are desperate to take credit for it but i won't let it the reason why life is what it is today is because god has seen it to be i constantly point to the heavens through grace and mercy and blessings from god but i've got lots of people in my immediate vicinity who want credit for it and they want you to take it away the credit from god and give it to them instead that's what I got, but it's fine. It's becoming increasingly clear to me what my father was saying to me when I was younger. I'm catching on as I get older and older. People come into your life at specific times of year. I suppose it's the same thing, you know. They season it up and then they cook it. You should be aware of the method through which they attempt to restrain you. Your origins will be forgotten. I'm sure of it. Oh, you are not going to keep it genuine any longer? Are you? I don't want to go back to my hometown because of my past now i don't want to maintain it that honest any longer it seemed 
realistic enough for me, given that I was living in a car. I'd had enough of the mundane aspect of everyday existence. I'd like to go ahead and keep it dreamlike. I'd like to go ahead and continue fantasizing. I want to keep it out of this world as much as possible. I'm, I'm interested in seeing what it's like and I have no intention of forgetting where I came from. However, you are not going to hold me to that promise. When thoughts become things, they are known as manifestations. What are the things you want written down and where can you find them? What is it? that you are most interested in. What a wonderful person you are for everything God has done for you. How far along are you with that? If all you can think about is getting out of debt, if all you are thinking about is what you don't have, you are in trouble. If all you can think about is me every time you turn around, you are going to be sick. If all you can think about is the things in your life that you don't have, you are in trouble. As well as how much debt you believe you will be stuck in if your thoughts become reality. How much do you believe you are lacking in order to fill your life with? It doesn't matter how much most of you would like to not have because you are constantly thinking about it. Exactly when do you intend to be grateful? When are you going to express your gratitude? What is going to come out of your mouth, sir? That I may not be where I want to be, but I am certainly grateful for what you have given me thus far. For the things I have today, because I do not have to have these things. I am grateful for what you have given me thus far. Knowing what that does, you can then look forward to receiving even more things to be grateful for in the near future. If you are unthankful for the things you have, if we are unable to express our thanks for what we have, why would God provide us with more things to be unthankful? Why would he do something like that for? Anyone out there, feel me right now. I want you to feel me if you haven't. So please do. I want you to understand and come to an understanding with yourself. I'm not implying that you are not, since there are so many people that have a greater understanding of this whole situation than I have. I can assure you that they do. Listen up dude, I'm just trying to get you to see things in a different perspective so you can get on with your life and stop tripping yourself up with your thoughts. Because thoughts become things. If you enjoyed this video, please spread the word to your friends and family and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.